Hello and welcome to chapter 28 of the video tutorial how to set up an online shop with Dreamweaver and PHP. Right, we had stopped the topic um, in the administration and the purchases they were making, right? So we had found a function to extract the name, we made a function to extract the, the means of payment we were getting and then when clicking, um, now it won't work, right, because we haven't done it so far but we have to get this purchase in some way to check what we have bought and what is the total etc although if we want the total we can extract it from here in any case okay we go to purchase list which is where we have our backend administration in watch it's skipping to purchase edit php and it's sending the id purchase so theoretically it's fine it's what we need right uh, we mentioned it in the previous chapter and now we will create the page as such purchases edit to do so once again we take the index file in admin right we copy paste and rename it to purchases edit php purchases edit php fine we open it and right here check purchase for example fine here we will start extracting the data and to make a query of the purchase itself right um, we've done this plenty of times and you will see on the run that everything is really similar when we know how to handle the queries and how to do the stream of work we will have done a big big progress but well I will keep on doing it because it's good for us to remember and the truth is that we haven't done this for a long time Okay, the first thing is from purchase list we are getting a variable via URL in the direction called record ID and it passes us the ID purchase. We are going to extract the data from the purchase. So we make a new record set. It will be called data purchase. The connection is the usual one, you remember. Fine. And the table upon which I want to recover the data is purchase status. Select it all where id purchase, you should complete the function, equals to var purchase. I copy it here. Var purchase is an integer type whose default value is zero and whose execution time value is the get. That is get of id purchase. Okay. Um, let's remember it properly just in case. It's record id, sorry, record 